What is going on everyone and welcome to the TC Trading Channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a full Moomoo desktop walkthrough slash tutorial. So we're gonna cover pretty much everything they have to offer here on the desktop platform. Fairly short, simple to the point so you can get in and get out. And then we're gonna make a separate video which should be coming out very, very soon if not already out here under our Moomoo playlist going over how to customize your trading layout on the desktop platform. It's actually very straightforward. You will go to moomoo.com and then from here, there's actually a download section up on the top of that screen. You can even log in already, but I'll click on download and then you can go and find exactly what you need. So for example, if you're on mobile, you can download it on the App Store or Google Play or you can download for Windows or for Mac. So I've gone ahead, done the download for Mac. It's popping up here in the bottom right here. Here is the logo Moomoo and I click on it just like any other app I will click on onto my Mac and I have it pretty much good to go right here, ready to go, right? And we're gonna dive right on in. So the first section you're going to see here is you're gonna see the account section, okay? So here's my account. What I can do is I can click this little show button and I could then show my account numbers. I can show my P&L for today, my net assets, day trades left, all that stuff that's showing up here that's covered by a bunch of these little uh, stars that'll then reappear. For the sake of this video, there's nothing really here. I have a couple free stocks that I have, that's all. Um, but I could do that from there. You can also go ahead, deposit, withdraw, and you click on that and here's what will pop right on up. It'll go ahead and ask you how you would like to deposit. It'll tell you the amount of business days it will take for an ACH or for a wire transfer. Wire will be a bit faster, at least as of right now. So that's our account feature right there. You also will have a bunch of things up on the top right. You'll have quotes, you'll have some news, you'll have some other stuff. If you wanna take a peek at that, you can. But then scrolling down the next piece, the next selection on the left-hand side, that'll be the quote section. So here's where we're kind of diving into the quotes. And from right here, we can actually get a lot of stocks that we can pull up from a watch list and whatnot. So for example, I can pull up all stocks. I can pull up stocks that are, for example, my current positions and whatnot. And then also you're gonna get access to a nice charting feature right here, which uh, we can see that, you know, very nice and clear right on right in front of us. We can, we can see right here and up on the top left, it'll tell you the ticker symbol. And then from there, you can go ahead and change stocks. For example, I click on Boeing, I click on Roku, I click on Netflix, and from there, I can get access to that charting feature just like that. That's gonna be on the basic quotes section of the desktop platform. The next section will be the markets section. So over on the markets section on the left-hand side, it'll initially pull up my watch list. From there, I can look at my positions, I can look at a lot of different things, but if I click on this other tab right here, that's US. Right now, I'm going to get a lot of information kind of about what is going on across the US markets. I can see a lot of different stocks that are making some solid moves. I can sort by a lot of things by clicking on some of the search criteria right here. On top of that, I can scroll on through to US Hotspot, a tab underneath that US tab, US Hotspot. It'll give me a good sense of what's going on, some of the best performing stocks, top gainers, top losers, pre-market after hours, IPOs, all this information all in one place, which is really cool to look at. From there, we can look at a bunch of other things. We can go across the New York Stock Exchange, Amex, NASDAQ. I can even go across and look at a lot of other information here on this section. On the market section, there's a lot of tabs I would highly recommend you dive through. There's futures, different indices you can look at. And of course, looking at some of these are really good because you can get a sense of what's going on across the world, not just here in the US which is definitely worthwhile. Maybe you wake up in the morning and you wanna look at how China's doing, how the rest of the world is doing, and that could set the tone based on maybe some overall news that's driving the markets up or down in one way or the other, and that's a great place to start. They even have a Forex tab right here, a crypto tab, tons of crypto all in one place. All that's kind of you know live price action moving. The next section here will be the strategy tab. It'll give us a hot strategies section, which is gonna kind of give you, um, think about it as like a scanner that's kind of working, you know, all kind of preset in a sense. And then what we can do from there is go create our own scanner. So I go into the scanner tab right here, the screener, the screener tab, and I can click on and sort by and do this however I want. So for example, I can sort by US stocks that are in the computer and hardware industry if I wanted to do that. And now, boom, I have a bunch of stocks right there. I can sort by market cap. I can sort by price. Let's say I want to sort by stocks that are under 1 billion market cap. I can click on that. Click got it. Good to go. I want to sort by price range. Maybe I want to go from $0 up to maybe, let's say, $25. I don't want to play stocks over $25. 
boom, just like that, I got a bunch of stocks all in one place that I can click on and dive a little bit deeper if I would like to. So that's definitely a great place to be. The strategy section, then there's the portfolio tab right here where I can actually go ahead and create different portfolios if I wanted to do so. Would highly recommend you take a peek at that. There's a data tab right here, which will give you a lot of information if you wanna dive deeper onto different things. There's that tab. Then there's the trading tab. We're gonna have a separate video going over this specifically, so stay tuned for that. That should be the next video to drop on the channel. This is where you can customize your layout. So we're gonna do that next. But if you wanna actively trade, that's where you'll do it. On the left-hand side, the trade tab, you'll do that right here and we'll dive deeper into that one next, but that's where you'll go ahead and do that. Then there's even a news feature, which is kind of taking the mobile app almost in a sense, and you can scroll through a bunch of things right here on the news feature, hit a bunch of different articles up on the left-hand side. If you wanna click on those, you can click onto those, they'll pop right up onto your screen, and you can sort through those articles right there. Definitely not a terrible place to be chilling uh, and checking out you know, throughout the day if you're curious about what is going on in the markets, what's driving the markets, what could be driving certain sectors and things like that. There's a watch list tab as well, so I can get more information on my certain watch list, my news. And then there's a calendar tab. This is really cool because not only will they give you economic data or the calendar for the economic data that's coming out, they'll also give you things like earnings, IPOs, dividends or reverse stock splits or stock splits. And that'll be all here in the calendar section. So you can kind of stay up to date on what stocks may have an ex-dividend date coming up what stocks are IPOing, what stocks have earnings coming up. So it'll really kind of help set the tone for what you need to watch out for and maybe even give you some trading ideas right here. There's another tab right here under the news tab is the Moo tab right here. It's very similar to the app. You pull this bad boy up and you'll be able to kind of go and like and comment and interact on their platform. I can go ahead right here and post a comment or post a moment if I would like to right there all in one place pretty much taking the app and making that essentially a desktop version um, for you right there as well. They even have on here the courses section. So you can go into their courses we talked about in the app tutorial that we talked about a couple of days ago. They have a bunch of different courses that you can take. So great that it's not just on the app. You can come here to the desktop platform and go ahead. Maybe you want to learn about crypto. Maybe you want to learn about you know US markets and you want to learn about how to invest and the basics about how to use this platform. Well, these different courses are going to be very, very beneficial for for, you know, helping you learn a lot of those things. So for example, I can go into fundamental analysis. I click on this course and boom, just like that, I can have a course pulled up on fundamental analysis and I can start diving through and learning more about that course. Okay, I'm gonna close out of this guy, close out of this guy. Let's go to the paper trading section. That's the last section, which is not currently live right here. It is actually live on the app but that is coming very, very soon. And when it officially debuts, we'll certainly have a video going over live how it works on the desktop platform. But that is a full walkthrough tutorial here of the Moomoo app. Outside of this, if you wanted to go on, let's say back to the quote section right here, up on the top right, you wanna change a quote, you wanna to go to different stocks, TSLA, if I wanna to go to Tesla, boom, I can pull Tesla right in up. So that is where you'll go. It'll tell you in the top left. It'll also tell you over here on the quote section. But up at the top right, that is where you'll type that in. We'll make sure to have that all covered here for you with this video. There's even a section right here for alerts. If I wanted to create alerts, I can click on a symbol right here. Let's go, let's go to Tesla. Go to Tesla. I can click on a reminder where if I want to say, let's say an alert, let's say the price of Tesla rises above, let's say $800 for a specific situation. And I want to say, hey, tell me that once a day, if it happens every day, boom, I can add some notes in. I can set my alert just like that. So that's your kind of notifications or alert tab. And then here is the tab. If you want to get access to the customer service or the contact us page, that'll be that tab right there. There's a messenger feature on the bottom left and then the settings feature also on the bottom left where I can go and update a bunch of different things. For example, language, I can change a lot of smaller settings when it comes to a bunch of different things as well as add in hotkeys. May make a video on that in the future as well. So hopefully this video was helpful. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. We'll leave a link down below to get up to four free stocks when you sign up and deposit with Moomoo. Click on that link. They'll give you the current promotions and they'll let you know what you can get access to when you sign up with the platform. It's definitely another great platform to add to the arsenal. As someone who uses Weeble more consistently, I would probably recommend Weeble as of right now. However, it's definitely not a terrible idea to go take advantage of some of those free stocks, get a couple free bucks and use it as a backup broker or a secondary broker if you would like. Thanks so much and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.